All right, boys and girls, ladies and gents, we are back out with another banger. Got the old Trapper Ruan on the Kicking Their Bass TVX Loose Combo if you guys want to check them out. KickingTheirBass.com, it'll be linked down below. Got the girl Tara with me today. What's going on, girl? What's going on? I'm here to catch some big fish today. Want some giants? Some giants. Some That's big old girthy girls to start off 2024. Things. She's got an old Kicking Their Bass TVX Loose Ooh. Spinning Combo. My first fish of 2000. Yeah, she still has yet to catch her first 2024 fish. If you guys saw the last episode, we hunted really hard, guys. We caught some good fish and we also lost some giants. So today is redemption mode. And uh, we're gonna be trying to catch some some toads. So this is what I'm gonna be starting off with. I'm gonna try to cover some water, see how the fish are acting today. The weather's been so inconsistent and it's pretty dang cold today. It's in the 40s right now. And I also have the uh Mock Jack combo with the drop shot that I had in the last episode. Had that with me just in case. Before we get deeper into this video, only 27% of y'all watching these videos are actually subscribed. So if you could take the time, hit the subscribe button. It really helps the channel. I'd appreciate it. We're gonna start casting this uh, Trapperoo out here and uh, see if we can get some active fish. Tara actually has one on as well. It's been about a month and a half, maybe two months since I've been out at this pond. But the last time I came out, they were actually biting really good. We we caught a lot of fish, probably around 10 fish in this one pond, which is not like a regular thing. Like these fish, they're usually a little finicky, but they were on when we came out here and we ended up getting a lot of good bites. So hopefully that's what it's like today. If not, we're gonna figure them out. We're gonna keep on moving. We have plenty of different ponds that we're gonna hit that we haven't hit in a long time. And uh, even if they're not biting well, hopefully we get some of those big bites we're looking for. It is chilly today, boys. If we learned anything from the other day, it was a majority of these fish are pushed back towards the pockets. Every pond that we hit, even if they were in the middle, there were some that we caught up on the bank, but they were all towards the mouth of a pocket or up in a pocket. I think these fish are gonna be super slow today with how this weather is. So what happened since the last time we fished, we had we had a big warm front come in for a day. Big and big and big and big and big and let's go right in the pocket, dude. And he choked it. Like I'm talking, he didn't just eat that thing. He choked it. Good three pounder, man. Let's go. That is a great sign. As we're just talking about that, look at how that bass ate that trap. That is, oh gosh, that's a beautiful sign. Hopefully, that's what's gonna happen today. You ate that good, buddy. He stopped me cold turkey. That's a good solid close to three pounder, if not a very high two. Big head, thick body. Overall, pretty fish. Thank you, baby. Wow. We were just talking about working back towards the pockets. The other day, that's something we figured out. I mean, we threw what? Two or three casts back in this pocket and just got slammed. That's a good sign. Back to what I was saying, there was a warm front for about a day. Then it got cold again. And this morning, I mean, it was in the 30s all the way until 9, 10 a.m. So the other day, I mean, we, I had a good bit of fish, but none of them were eating it like that. Like, I might have had one catch where a fish ate it pretty good, but that fish actually inhaled this bait, which is just a, it's a good sign. I was getting a little worried here. You know, we were fishing for a minute, no, nothing. All of a sudden we have one inhale it like that. That's a wonderful sign. All right, boys, we're gonna walk out of this pocket now. We're gonna go work towards this other bridge. There's like an island in the middle. There's another bridge. That's usually a hot spot for some really big fish. And then the back left corner of the pond, there's another pocket and there's a lot of wind funneling up in that pocket. So I think that could be a good hot zone. So uh, yeah, we're gonna walk around this way. See if we can catch some bigger ones. I wanna bring our stuff over there too, guys. Just so we have this drop shot and also my scales in that bag. Before we walk over there, get this little drain. And there's usually some fish around it. Let's see if we can flip this drop shot up there. Might as well try it while we're sitting here. Right there. He got it already. Biggin. No freaking way, dude. No way. No way that just happened. It's not even a big and guys, I kind of, I thought, I thought he was big. He surprised me, man. 
Two pounder though. <laughs> Golly, dude. Yeah. I guess my gut instinct to flip up there was just too good. He, so I flipped the drop shot, instantly felt thump, and he was running with it. Here we go, boys. A little uh, pound and a half to pushing two pounder. Let's go. Man. I really didn't think to get bit that quick. I thought it would have been something that I would have pitched in there and had to like really work it slow. Had to try it before we walked to the other side, but I guess since we caught that on one flip, we gotta flip another time. Just like a little honey hole, he was right there. See that, that fish in my opinion was sitting there waiting for that water because it's pulling in there. So pretty much when he saw this thing fly right in front of him, I mean, he ate it and swam completely out. All right, boys, let's keep moving. Here we are at the new spot. Big fish territory. Big fish territory, boys. If they're here and they're biting, we gonna have a sleigh fest. And I'm more excited about that pocket back in the corner because how these fish have been positioned, they should be right, right up there. There's a lot of wind pushing up there too. You got a hook set? You got him? You got him? Is it big in? Really? Oh, that's a nice one. Get him, girl. Oh, yeah, that's a good fish. Hey, you can't complain with that one. First 2024 20 catch is a good two and a half pounder. Let's go. There you go, girl. Yeah, that's a good fish. Thank it might you, be buddy. two and three quarters. That's a... Thank you, buddy. Nice catch. First 2024 20 bass, girl. Good job. The drop shot might be the move today i'm not gonna lie or just something slow in general i mean she got bit right here and all of a sudden the next cast or maybe two casts later she got bit again that tells you though i mean i sat here and threw this trap you even threw your trap all around this and didn't get any bites and then you threw that in twice and had two bites so slowing down might be the move today terry's got another fish Hey! Oh, Number I thought two. that was your rod tip. I'm like, no. Number two. These Heck are good yeah. sized fish. Yeah, no, they're they're doing some nice ones. Look at the little uh, sores on them. See the little sores? Oh, that's a good fish though. I was pulling it out of the water. Like I was, I was about to pull it up, and it fit it. I was bringing it up. Like right, right at the bank. Yeah, right at the bank. Heck yeah. Well, that's two for me and two for you, Terry. That's not bad there out of this go. pond. We already got four fish. Two and two. Heck yeah. Good job, girl. Let's go. Well, that's four fish so far, and that is not bad at all. Three of them coming on the drop shot. The biggest one coming on the old lipless crankbait. And uh, I'm going to tell you guys right now, these fish are slow. She's getting a lot of bites on that drop shot. I've only had that one bite on the lipless. So we're going to fish to the back of this cove, and then after that, we're probably going to go to a different pond. And I'm going to see if I can pick up some drop shot stuff as well. Cause it's looking like it's gonna be a slow day. I could be wrong though. We could go up in this cove and smoke a monster. So here we have the mouth, little pocket. That's, I mean, this is identical to how we've been catching them. And boom, you got a point right there. You got some wind pushing up in this pocket. This has been like where the fish have been. I mean, this has been a repetitive theme. These fish, they set up very similar to how a lake sets up. So just remember that when you're out pond fishing, I mean, these fish uh, aren't always going to be in the same spots as you find them. And especially depending on the conditions, the time of year, and how the weather is, these fish are set up for it. There he is. Oh my gosh, that was such a good bite. That was such a good bite. And my rod was just, oh my gosh. Look at the boil. You see the boil? That was a big fish. Dang it. Right going, going into this dang pocket, man. I, I don't know what to say. I was walking and casting and just not paying attention. And... That just cost me a fish right there. He definitely got a little piece of this trouble and swam off. It's crazy that, uh, you know, we've been talking about it. Right when you get in the back of these pockets, it's like you, you instantly always get a bite. You might not have many bites, but you always have something. All right, boys, we're going to get out of here and keep uh, hunting around. We know exactly what to look for. We just got to keep moving. We're at some big fish territory right now. It's been years since I've been able to get on them how I used to. There's some massive freaking bass in here. I couldn't even count on one hand how many nine plus pounders I've seen caught out of here. I'm gonna have to put them on two hands there. 
because we've caught some freaking tanks. Well, let's hope today's one of those days. I'm gonna tell you, cloudy, nasty weather right now, cold. These are the days we used to come out here and we'd lay into some monsters. So maybe today would be one of those days. I believe in this pond, I'm gonna be able to fish this underspin how I want to. Let it hit the bottom and just slow roll this thing just like this. Every once in a while, give it a sporadic little pop. And that's how I usually fish these underspins. Those other ponds had so much stuff in them that I just couldn't fish it right. I just got, I either got hit or I hit some of those rocks. That's one thing we gotta look out for. Yeah. No way, and he choked that thing. Oh my goodness. I mean, that is just such a good sign. And look how he ate that underspin. I mean, all the way in the back of his throat. She's got one too, no way. A big one? Little twink, oh. Yeah, I know. <laughs> hey, it's all good. A little fish bump. Fish bump. First double up of the day, that's sick. Got a little high one pounder here, pound and a half. Beautiful fish. He choked that bait too. Oh, oh my God, you just... <laughs> I got mud all on me now. <laughs> I want you guys to think about something too. I went to three different ponds with this bait. Didn't have a bite, but I wasn't able to fish it how I needed to. We come here, two cast, boom. Slow rolling, couple sporadic pops every once in a while. On the bottom, and that's how you catch those fish. In this exact spot right here, A-Dub caught his PV back in the day, and I just got bit. Oh gosh, he didn't eat it. One hard thump, it was just tick. You got another one? Oh gosh, boys. Tara got another fish. I just got another bite. We, we on them. Guys, that's why you have to stay patient. Keep your confidence high and keep moving. Cause just know anything's bound to happen when you're out fishing. But just always stay positive and uh, keep that confidence up, guys. It can be tough this time of year. It really can, but you just keep on grinding. Keep on hitting some places. Put your head down, don't get too discouraged, and you'll get rewarded. Oh, oh my gosh. Tara, that was a monster. He snapped your... That was like a huge bite. No, that was a mega. I saw your ding line. That was the biggest fish you probably ever hooked. He snapped your bait off, I'm pretty sure. Your rod was doubled over when you had him. See, I oh, I saw I him, it. I felt him ticking, so I reeled down. I was back into it and snapped right here. Oh my Wait goodness. On. So guys, I usually fish the middle out here with all the rocks, but how we've been saying these fish are setting up, you know, this pocket is fishing pretty good. I mean, Tara had three or four smaller bites and then just broke off that really big one. I saw her lean back into that fish. Like that was no, that was no joke. Oh, small one. He's right up there in that pocket. He <laughs> ain't look at him. He's not even fighting. A little tiny guy. Well, that's something. Not a big one. Not what we're looking for. You guys are wondering. I had to kind of throw that fish. There's mud all right here, and you're talking three inches of water unless i threw him he's going right into the mud he's getting muddy i'm getting muddy we're all getting muddy so. tara already hooked up they're biting like crazy i was like i could tell by the bite it was gonna be small but heck yeah well there we go. all right guys well we caught some small ones out here i'm just gonna stick to this underspin and really try to just go for big ones Oh gosh, come on. Oh boy. That was a nasty freaking bite. I just had flashbacks. That was where I caught a mega years back. Same freaking cast, man. That scared me. He should bite it again. I mean, he barely ticked it. Or he didn't barely tick it, but he, he didn't have the hook, was my point. He was all the way out there on the other side. Let that thing hit the bottom, slow rolling it in, and he just went. Thump. You got one? Keep that pressure. Is it a big one? 
<laughs> you seem doubled over on that thing. It freaked me out. Good job. Ooh, heck yeah. Not a big one, but <laughs> hey, we'll take like them. We'll take them. It's been a minute. Oh, there it is. Oh, ho, ho. ah, he bit me, lizard. I bet you he bit this dang thing in half. He's probably. Yeah, dang right he did. Took my dang tail. All right, boys and girls, ladies and gents, we are back at it. Just another day, and we're gonna be hustling for these giants. Listen, the first fish we got the other day was pretty good, but we really didn't have any really big bass. So today's goal is to try and catch up on some of the big fish that we didn't get to catch the other day. So we're gonna hustle. We're gonna hit a lot of places. And hopefully these big fish will bite. We had a nasty, nasty, nasty storm roll through the other day. And uh, man, just let me tell you, I'm hoping that these fish are gonna bite. The water in this pond that we just pulled up to is honestly way too stained. And I don't know if you guys can tell, it's going over the edge of the grass there. This pond is not looking pretty, but we're gonna try it real quick. Dude, I just got bit right there. My second cast followed me all the way in. That's a nice one. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Dude, he ate it right on the twitch. Stay pin, baby. Stay pin. Oh, she's a nice one, guys. Oh, she's a nice one. Barely hooked. Get up here. Yes. Let's go. Mm. There we go. Barely got her in the corner of her mouth right there. And that is a good three pounder. Let's freaking go, baby. That's what I wanted. That is a great start to today. Look at how thick that fish is. Thick old tail on that boy. Let's go, guys. Well, our second bite today so far, which is not bad at all. And this is our first fish we landed close to a three pounder. She's definitely three. Beautiful fish. She ate it so weird, man. I usually don't have fish eat a underspin like that. But right when I popped that bait, she just attacked it. And it wasn't even like I felt her slam it. It was more of she just loaded up on it. But there we go, boys. That's our first fish. Let's keep on casting. There's some bigger ones out there. Let's get it. I do not mind catching some three pounders. I'd still like to see a good five, six pounder, but that right there, we catch a lot of those out of here today. I'm gonna be happy as can be. And don't think this is the only pond we're gonna fish. There's one near this one that we're gonna go hit and it could be even better than this. I'm hoping the water is at least better. I was afraid when I saw this water, I'm like, man, I don't even know if we'll get a bite in here, but that answered our question. That's two different times, guys. And that time, I just did not have enough room for that fish to eat it. I mean, if she would have bit it five foot in front of us more, then we would have caught that fish. But hey, that happens. Let's go ahead and grab our stuff and uh, get out to the next pond. I'm gonna actually start off with the drop shot up here in this corner. I feel like we might have an opportunity to pluck off some of these fish that are on the edge of this little grass line. It's got a lot of dang leaves up here. Leaves and pine straw. Well, guess we're right, gut feeling. That was a little squirt, but that is a fish. That was very quick. Not a big fish, but <laughs> that uh, gets us started at this new location. And I wanna work out towards this little cut down here. So you got this little pocket, and then it necks down up here off a little point. And then it opens up out there in the middle. And I don't know if you guys remember, but this is actually the pond where Tara caught her PB. There's some massive fish in here. If we can just give them the bite. Hers was almost a seven pounder. Right off that point. Yep. Oh my gosh. They're biting so funky today. They're biting, but they're just biting weird. Oh, that's a dang fish, dude. That was a dang fish. 
It literally felt like pine straw. <laughs> All right, we're gonna walk back towards where we started. We'll throw a few more casts. I had a couple bites, but nothing crazy. And I just, I don't know. I don't really like how it's fishing right now. I feel like they would be eating a little better. Even the first one we, we hit, we had some good bites. These bites haven't even been anything crazy. A new pond and some more dirty water. Mr. Shoddy Drop, Mr. Drop of Nisadi. I think, oh gosh, it was twirled up around my rod. Let's see if we can locate where these bass are. There we go. Oh my God, it came off. I can tell how big that fish was. I don't think he was small. So this hook right here, it's a very interesting hook to throw on a drop shot. That's pretty much a mini extra wide gap. I got it from Adam because he was hyping it up. My buddy A-Dub. And I'm gonna be honest, I am not a big fan of it at all. I, I lose so many fish on this dang thing because when I'm throwing a drop shot, I, necessar I don't wanna just lean into him heavy. If we just would have had like a little nose hook, that fish would have been on the bank, 100%. We are getting it done, boys, right here. I feel it. We've had a dang struggle. I need some good weather, some good consistent weather, not these storms, cold fronts, warm fronts, raining, cloudy, sunny. There's no consistency with the weather. I think it could be affecting these fish for sure. So I'm hoping right here in this pond, we're gonna be able to hook a few. Dude, it's a miracle. Oh, that was the lightest thing bite I think I've ever had. The slightest little just dick. <laughs> Holy cow, dude. Then I get a lift up and he's not even freaking there. Come on, fish. Work with me. Work with your boy. Dude. That's so soft. Oh, if you guys were feeling, I, I'm talking like the smallest tick and then nothing's there. It's like they almost are grabbing the back of the worm but not actually eating it. Only thing I could think is they're really just not wanting to eat or it could be a bluegill grabbing it. But when I talk about the slightest little, oh man. It's like that, bro. I'm gonna lose my mind. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I don't know. I'm driving myself crazy here. I just had him so far out there using this big hook on a drop shot with a flimsy rod. Not the best combination. Don't take notes on that. And he freaking, don't tell me he broke me off. I'm gonna lose my freaking marble. <laughs> you dude, you can't make this up. That was my only drop shot with me. I, mm. there's a good note to all of this. I never have to use that hook again. Never in my career. I never have to see him. I need to call A-Dub after this and tell him how bad of a dang hook that thing is because I'm never again. I am going to go get some more drop shot stuff and I'm going to get a little tiny nose hook next time we rock a drop shot and you guys are going to see the hookups on the fish that we get. It's going to be 99 to 1, I promise. We got a little Texas rig now. Not as finesse as the drop shot. Who knows, they might eat this really good. That's what I'm hoping. I mean, I was having to work that drop shot. Let's go, baby. First cast on the crawl. Literally, the moment it hits the water, I don't have to do anything. Is that fish big? Hold on. I don't know. He like doesn't feel big, but he feels big. Yeah, he ain't big. It's a nice fish though. Always oh, beautiful. Look at the markings on you, buddy. Super fat too. He literally ate the curl the first second I threw it in there. Maybe we're on to something with that. Wow, beautiful fish. A little fat dude, about a pound and a half. Beautiful lateral line. Look at the lateral line on that bass. So pretty. Thank you, buddy. New pond. 
and we're still throwing the crawl. I tried to go on the other side of that pond, but there was a lot of people. There's also some construction people by, so I didn't want to get in their way. There he is. That's a big Oh my God. That fish feels nice, guys. Oh, it's a nice one, yeah. Not a giant, but that's a dang good one right there. Come here, baby. Oh my goodness, look how fat that fish is. Oh, let's go. Oh my gosh, she slammed that dang crawl right there, boys. Ooh. And look at that in the back of her throat. She's got like a bluegill. That is one of the fattest bass we've caught in a minute. It's a dang two and a half to two and three quarters, but that is a girthy fish right there. Wow. Thank you for biting, baby. Maybe we should have been throwing this crawl a while ago. Wow, there she goes. You know, Tara got a lot of good bites on that crawl um, at one of the last ponds we hit the other day. But I was just thinking they were biting good in that pond, but they might just be eating this crawl. But you got this shallow bank down here. It's got a couple pipes that are angled in. And down this bank, what you have is some rocks. And if you guys didn't know in the winter time, when it's cold out, those rocks actually hold heat. So whether you're on a lake or you're at a pond or wherever you're at, you know, when it's super cold out or when the water temp's cold, this fish will tend to stick on some of those rocks, boat ramps, any concrete areas. I hopped right over one of those rocks and he hammered that thing. Here we go, another pond another fish hopefully a big great giant i'm hoping for a monster sword or x of a fish oh goodness i wasn't paying attention and he that was him spitting it out i must have ate it right when i threw it in there let's throw it back <laughs> what in the world was that bro I'm like, I'm like sitting here and then all of a sudden I, I reel up and I feel thump, thump, thump. Got distracted by this pumpkin. Confused on how this pumpkin looks perfectly fine. And it's the middle of January. That feels like a decent one. Oh my God. Yeah. Let's go, baby. Let's freaking go. She was so shallow. Oh God, that's a really nice one, guys. Yes. 